Hi, welcome to Coding Manasa channel. Yesterday and day before yesterday, we have seen history and physical examination components of evaluation and management. Today, uh, most important uh, component, the third component of uh, evaluation management that is um, medical decision making we are going to discuss. Medical decision making again has three uh, sub factors, uh, okay? to decide the evaluation management one is number of diagnoses or problems need to be managed second is amount or complexity of the data to be reviewed and analyzed third is uh, risk factor okay risk uh, factor mainly decides the entire uh, evaluation and management or level you are going to decide okay and we have four types in medical decision making that is straightforward low complexity moderate complexity and high complexity risk okay now let us see the uh, uh, low complexity moderate complexity high complexity uh, risk table uh, to decide the medical decision making all right this slide shows the three components of medical decision making that is number of possible diagnosis or management options. Second is amount of complexity of medical records to be reviewed and analyzed. Third is risk factor. In this you can see the four types of medical decision making straightforward, low, moderate and high complexity. Uh, likewise you can see various uh, you know limited, multiple and extensive. Uh, uh, now let us see about the four types of risk factor minimal risk means only presenting problem is only one that is self-limited minor problem whereas diagnostic procedure is some lab test uh, or some when puncture is done or chest x-ray is ordered EKG or EEG done urine analysis done ultrasound done uh, so that is diagnostic procedure and management option is like rest gargles elastic bandages superficial lenses that is uh, minimal low risk low risk means two or more self-limited or minor problems one stable chronic illness like hypertension diabetes etc and acute uncomplicated illness example is simple sprain allergic rhinitis etc diagnostic uh, procedure test is physiologic test not under stress non-cardiovascular imaging studies superficial needle biopsies and lab tests ordered Whereas management options are like uh, OTC drugs, minor surgery, physical therapy, occupational therapy and IV fluids without additives. Here you can see moderate uh, risk, okay, one or more chronic illnesses with mild exacerbation or two or more stable chronic illnesses or undiagnosed new problem with uncertain prognosis, acute illness with systemic symptoms, acute complicated injury. These, any one may be the presenting problem diagnostic procedures to order like physiologic tests under stress diagnostic endoscopies with no risk factors identify deep or needle or incisional biopsy cardiovascular imaging studies with contrast and no identified risk factors obtain fluid from body cavity example like lumbar puncture thoracentesis etc Management options like uh, minor surgery with identified risk factors, selective major surgery like open percutaneous or endoscopy, then prescription drug management, therapeutic nuclear medicine, IV fluids with additives, close treatment of fracture without manipulation. This is moderate risk. See about uh, high risk. One or more chronic illnesses with severe exacerbation, acute or chronic illnesses, injury um, that pose a threat to life, then uh, an abrupt change in neurologic studies all come under high risk uh, presenting problem. Then diagnostic uh, process order like uh, cardiovascular imaging studies with contrast with identified risk factors, cardiac electrophysial, physiological diagnostic endoscopies with identified risk factors discography all these are diagnostic process ordered management options is selective major surgery that is 90 group of pure emergency major surgery parenteral control conditions drug drug therapy requiring intensive monitoring for toxicity decision not to resuscitate or to de-escalate care because of poor prognosis this is high risk so those are the three components of uh, enm history, physical examination and medical decision making. Uh, based on the points shown in the slides, you need to assign the risk uh, factor, risk table, then, uh, you know, MDM, 
okay accordingly you should go and first you should see the place of service where the patient is easy in office setting easy in observation setting easy in inpatient setting or easy in emergency department setting uh, or skilled nursing facility setting based on that uh, you need to uh, code uh, enm we have separate codes uh, of enm so that's all about all the three components of evaluation management okay now you should know which place of service the patient is uh, getting treated and accordingly code the cpt codes are given in the enm section okay if it is in office or outpatient setting uh, you will give 992022205 uh, uh, if it is new patient if it is established patient it is 992112215 accordingly we have hospital uh, enm visits that is uh, hospital admission codes 992212223 and then uh, if it is subsequent uh, visit 992312233 accordingly we have separate set of codes for observation uh, same day and admit and discharge we have then we have preventive medicine visits we also have skilled nursing facility <laughs> codes home health visits we have separate uh, you know but basic thing is the same thing uh history physical exam and medical decision making uh, sometimes some codes also refer to time based uh, codes face to face time spent uh, physician spent face to face time with the patient uh, in evaluating that would be considered as a main factor uh, to decide the level or uh, code for the level okay a new patient is one who did not receive any professional services from the physician or non physician practitioner or another physician of the same specialty who belongs to the same group practice within the 3 years if he is receiving treatment within the 3 years from the same physician or the same specialty physician from the same group practice then he is said to be established accordingly the codes are divided like new and established all right so thanks for watching my video uh this is the end of evaluation management all right um in the previous videos i've shown you like 2021 uh, guidelines of enm uh where uh, they got revised uh, notes uh, like the, they have become majorly like um, mdm dependent um, okay um then uh, or time based uh, for office visits whereas other consultations outpatient consultations or inpatient consultations then uh inpatient uh, enm coding observation coding all uh, need history physical examination and medical decision making uh so accordingly uh, they are like um, given in each cpt if you see uh, in encoda pro or any coding uh, software you are seeing or if you have coding books uh, seeing that against each code what is the history element or what is the um, you know like um, physical examination and mdm uh, accordingly you have to decide uh, calculate the points decide the enm level and code accordingly Uh, for more videos please subscribe to my channel if you like the video please share it to your friends uh, it may might be useful for them thank you so much see you in another video